began to dictate uh, how they were supposed to worship. Answer H, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations. Central to the Protestant Reformation was a big argument about the Mass, what Christians call the communion. Uh, when I went to Catholic Church, the priest, of course, always held the cup. And here you've got a, the Pope holding a golden cup, and it is central. They believe they have the power, the priest has the power to convert that wine, which is fermented, by the way, most Protestant churches use unfermented grape juice because Jesus said at the Last Supper, I will not drink it again until I drink it with you new. New means unfermented in the Father's kingdom. And anything that is beginning to putrefy is not a good symbol for the blood of Jesus. The bread was to be unleavened. The grape juice was to be unfermented. But it's fermented. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, but when I was a kid and I went to Catholic Church in military school, I was required to go every week that the priest there would have two or three services for all the different cadets. By the time we got there, he was tipsy. <laughs> I'm absolutely serious. And uh, I think there's a problem with that. It's not a very good witness. But you even look, this is, uh, you know, the Vatican has its own money. And this is a coin that uh, I want to thank Michael Schiffler for sharing this with me. This is 1964 from Vatican City. See, it's a Citad Citadel Vaticano. And there's a woman there. And what is she holding in her hand? Can you see it? It's very small. Not the big purple woman, the one on the coin. They're both holding a cup. And what's coming out of the cup? Sunshine. You'll notice that halos and sun worship is also uh, connected with a lot of the images that you're going to find in the Vatican. On the halos, do you ever see Jesus and Mary in the Bible ever say they walk around with halos? But you'll always see that in the picture because it got a lot of their teachings from the Roman Empire where sun worship was principal. Goes on now, get this. And the woman that you saw, if you have any doubts, last verse of the chapter, if you have any doubts about who this first beast is, we're now in Revelation 17. That woman that you saw is that great city that reigns over the kings of the earth. All right, help me. Who wrote the book of Revelation? Where was John, the apostle, when he wrote the book of Revelation? He was in Patmos. Was he there freely on vacation or was he a prisoner? Who put him there? Rome. Who was ruling the world? 